hi in today's session we are going to see the continuation of bgp i like to recall the mandatory attributes we have seen in previous session and in today's session let me see few well known attributes as well as optional attributes used for best path selection to routing traffic by bgp this is the topology we are using so for your understanding i'll explain you how the networks are updated in the respective routers rep if you see at router a it learns the network 192.188 from external autonomous system so always to reach that destination it will have a next hop value of 172.116.16.1.2 or 172.17.1.2 so here it has two path your configured attribute would decide which path to take for reaching the destined network show ip bgp command gives you the bgp rip table you can see that 192.168.1.0 was learned from 900 autonomous system with a next stop value of the asbr of the 900 see the rip table of the uh, the external autonomous system it has successfully learned the network connected with the autonomous system 900 as a uh, external route path number 100 with the next op of to ip address so it's default it is taking this link for routing we have seen few mandatory attributes in previous session and today let's see how as path can can be configured for best path selection so here the rip of the router c is taking
this path for reaching the access network connected with the autonomous system 100 we can con make the bgp to take any specific link for best routing through few attributes one of this is as path let's see how to configure that We can configure AS path to suppress the specific route and giving prioritize to other routes to take that link for routing the traffic. We can configure AS path through access list. So we have successfully created the access list. So we are permitting the access network 10.25 connected with the autonomous system. In this access list and we were attaching that to the neighbor so while attaching to this interface we are making that this link is taking an additional AS path we were appending AS path to this to suppress this link and make this link for taking or traffic. So those changes would be seen in router C. This is before access list taking via this link but we have suppressed it you can see that 200 200 been appended here
this is not the ideal behavior it should be the sh shortest path for best path selection And the AS path attribute is applied to outbound routes and dictates the best inbound path. So let me go to uh, about how AS path filtering is configured. There are two things with AS path attributes. We can prepend the AS path to the specific route or uh, filter specific route with an autonomous system so this kind of filtering can be achieved with the help of access lists
so we have few ex regular expressions so this denotes that it's whatever roots originated with that is path 100 should be permitted we have few other regular expressions The cap symbol refers that it's learned from autonomous system Android and underscore refers from originated cap with dollar sign refers that it's originated locally star asterisk matches everything on that advertised route and underscore this any instance of the root with as hundred so these are the regular expressions available on configuring access lists so now we are applying the created access list with the neighbor session So we have successfully applied the filter with this we can check show the BGP We should have first created the neighbor. You can see that the show IB IPBGP have a regular expression command to filter the RIP database as per your request. So it's only list the routes from AS path Android.
this is the demonstration of AS path filtering and now let's see how origin attribute can be applied origin attribute is a origin attribute is an attribute which is um, seen at every root in the PGP rib and it identifies the originating source of the root and the symbol I denotes that the root has been learned by a internal gateway protocol if it is e it is learned by exterior autonomous system if it is i it is learned from interior autonomous system so the learns whatever route it's been added this route learned by this router will be having with i Whereas the root with this 192 rule learned by this router should have the uh, path with tag E because it's an external route. And there are possibility with having the symbol which denotes that it's an incomplete status and that usually indicates that root is from unknown origin and was re redistributed into BGP from uh, any other IGP or static roots and the preference of choosing root is internal route by autonomous system external route from autonomous system and unknown route And we are going to MED attributes. MED attributes are applied to outbound routes and dictates the best inbound path into autonomous system. A lower metric is always preferred it's applied to bone and dictating and inbound roads. The default MED value is zero here you can see that the routers uh, in the autonomous system 900 have two options to reach the network 10.5.1 through router D and router B. We can 
prioritize a link through configuring a MIDI value to a particular link so that you can force the autonomous system manager to prefer a particular part through router D to reach the 10.5.0 network. Once again, with the help of access list, we can achieve this. Once created, we can attach the list. So here actually I am forcing AS 900 to prefer the path through router B to reach the network.
so you can see that the metric could could value could be changing as per your configuration all of your times to exchange the packets to take your configuration and updates their rip always check the status of the pgp speaking you can see that value of metric change to 500 as per your configuration so you are suppressing that link by giving higher metric this is our uh, root map configuration so you are successfully suppressed that link uh, the important thing to notice MAD values are exchanged from one autonomous system to another. And it never be advertised further than that autonomous system. And the default value of 0 would be set if the root is advertised beyond autonomous system 900 in our case
and there are two things in M med configuration one is pgp deterministic med and another one is always compare and the deterministic med forces the med value to be compared when multiple routes to the same network are received via multiple routers and it is disabled by default This is the configuration of configuring deterministic MED. If it's used, it should be enabled on all routers within the autonomous system. So, and it also have another command always compare MED which forces the MED to value to be compared when multiple routes to the same network are received via multiple routers from different autonomous system. Moving to next attributes, communities, This allows routes to be placed into certain communities so that BGP can make policy decision based on root committee co community membership. And generally, community uh, configurations takes 32 bit. Uh, I, I identifier. With that, it includes a 16 bit AS number and 16 bit community identifier. A tells the 16-bit autonomous number and then the generic community identifier and there are four well-known communities that can be referred to by name No export, no advertise, internet, local AS. So in this, both no export and no advertise will prevent routes from being advertised to outside autonomous system. And internet allows the route to be advertised outside the local AS. And the local AS community prevents the route from being advertised outside the local AS to external BGP or even to confederate peers. And let's see 
what does mean by BGP summarization routes are automatically summarized the BGP when it gets redistributed and we can disable auto summary at router mode to aggregate addresses we do have a command aggregate address a command to aggregate a set of network belonging to 172.16 network like if you have you are routed with four subnets then you can summarize to a network to reduce the number of update messages as well as control packet in your autonomous system and you can also suppress specific root instead of all root through root map as well as through suppress map command here you need to create the access list This command will suppress a specific route and there is a concept called root damp BGP dampening this is the process suppressing routes which are frequently flapping and it is configured to minimize the unnecessary convergence and updates If a root flaps, it is assigned with a penalty of 1000 initially. All root penalty which starts with 0, if it flaps, it's set to 1000. And you have an option of configuring the penalty timing values through SID dampening command.
in root map this can be seen like creation of root map and set dampening 15 some values and here the first configured time 15 indicates off life timer if the root is assigned a penalty off of the penalty will decay after this timer expires So it's called as of life timer seven fifty here refers to bottom threshold. If the penalized rules fall roots are fallen below this threshold, then the root is no longer suppressed. The two thousand here refers to top threshold. If the root flaps to a point that is penalty exceeds this threshold, it is suppressed. The 60 here denotes the maximum amount of time the roots can be suppressed. This is the root dampening. It's an uh, important thing. It happens at most of cases. And there is another concept called PGP's next hop self. If you see here, the network 192.168 would be advertised to this autonomous system from an external autonomous system. So the router A learns that route but will have a next hop of 172.216, not with the next hop of this. So when the traffic destined with this will be not aware to take which next stop to route the traffic. If you see in our case router 1 see 192.168.1.0 
it was not the it till this the best path was not chosen so and also the next hope value is 17.12 so when the traffic destined with this reaches to this router the router is unaware to divert the traffic so to forcefully uh, configure the router we have a command router mode to configure the appropriate next stop to take the traffic See now, you can see that the best of path is chosen. See now, the next stop is updated with the the connected link. This ensures that the rip to take the this link for traffic. So this is way of manually configuring the BGP router with the appropriate next stop to take the traffic there's a concept called pgp backdoor So this is necessary when there is a case of both IGP and EVGP routes exist for the same network. In that circumstances, the IGP should be preferred. But defaultly, there are still possibility of choosing the EBGP route. So, in order to make IGP route to be preferred, we can set the distance value. 
of BGP as well as we can also configure backdoor through network commands defaultly that means is distance of EBGP is 20 whereas IBGP is 200 Generally, Cisco doesn't recommend changing the admin admin schedule distance. can con change the distance through distance command as per your requirements You can also set backdoor command on router mode. So this makes that. administrative distance by default from 20 to 200 like it says that this network link should take higher administrative distance to suppress the traffic towards that link resulting that IGP root should be preferred so these are the topics involved in BGP Let's see yeah, another session with another routing protocol.